The housing market is complicated. Prices are influenced by a wide range of elements that are local, regional, national, and global. While basic notions like supply and demand are at work, other factors such as mortgage rates in other nations all have an impact on the housing market. The news about interest rates isn't great these days. To restrain inflation, the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates, raising the cost of borrowing money, including mortgage loans for prospective home buyers. Here is what you need to know about the interest rate and the housing market. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Interest Rates and Mortgages The real estate market is a business playground governed by several connected elements. You will almost certainly lose your way if you are not backed by adequate knowledge and competent advice. Mortgage interest rate increases have been a key source of discussion since 2021. Even though they have risen from under 3% in December 2021 to over 5% in May 2022, average mortgage rates in the United States appear to be at a record low in 2022. Many people are wondering how this will affect the overall real estate market. A mortgage is a long-term loan designed to assist the borrower in purchasing a home. A mortgage, like any other debt, must be repaid with interest, and the home you purchase and the land surrounding it are assets that serve as security. A mortgage can be obtained from a variety of lenders, including commercial banks, thrift organizations, mortgage loan firms, and credit unions. The entire cost of the house includes the down payment made when purchasing the house, the mortgage, and the regular interest payments. What factors influence interest rates? The interest rate is the amount that a lender charges a borrower on top of the principal for the use of assets. The interest rate charged by banks is affected by a variety of factors, including the status of the economy. The central bank of a country sets the interest rate, which each bank uses to define the range of APRs it offers. When inflation is strong, central banks prefer to raise interest rates because higher interest rates increase the cost of lending discouraging borrowing and slowing consumer demand. Current interest rates. Current interest rates on mortgages, which are influenced by the federal funds rate and other market rates have an impact on house prices. At the time of this video, the average annual percentage rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage increased today, rising to 7.43%. In the meantime, the average 15-year fixed mortgage annual percentage rate is 6.56%. Last week at this time, the 15-year fixed rate mortgage annual percentage rate was 6.44%. The 30-year fixed rate jumbo mortgage has an average annual percentage rate of 7.44%. The average annual percentage rate on a 5 firsts ARM is now 7.22%, up from 7.1% last week. Experts predict that the 30-year fixed mortgage rate will range from 4.8% to 5.5% by the end of 2022. The Effects of Rising Interest Rates Mortgage interest rate changes cause a ripple effect throughout the real estate industry. Rising interest rates have various effects on different market participants. First and foremost, it has an impact on home buyers. An increase in mortgage rates indicates that the cost of owning a home will rise from the standpoint of a home buyer. This also reduces affordability because a bigger portion of the buyer's salary will be utilized to purchase the home. As a result, the pool of potential home buyers becomes smaller. However, if the economy is robust and interest rate increases are followed by increases in salary and wages, the increase in spending will be countered. The real estate market is changing. Higher interest rates have forced the housing market into a tough correction, which should bring it back into equilibrium after years of euphoria and scarcity. Because purchasers are now paying much more to get a mortgage on the same priced home, increased rates have killed demand. It was quite difficult for purchasers to find a home at the start of the year. That remains true, but for a completely different reason. When mortgage rates were near record lows in January, the home buying market was extraordinarily competitive, with purchasers paying far more than the asking price and waiving inspection and appraisal requirements merely to have a shot at winning. With mortgage rates far above 6% for the first time since 2008, the challenge has switched to being able to afford a home in the first place. 
the housing market is mostly driven by demand. Higher mortgage rates make it more difficult to purchase a home now, but lower demand means less competition. This allows buyers to obtain a home for less than the list price, have sellers contribute toward closing costs, or pay mortgage points to bring those high rates down a little. Will the market crash or stabilize? Other areas of the world's housing markets appear to be in a downturn. Bank of America has stated that the U.S. market is already slowing, while Australian home values have decreased 2% since May. However, while the property market's recent yearly double-digit expansion appears unsustainable, a crash appears to be some time away. The recent surge in property valuations has been fueled by a combination of limited supply and high demand. As a result of the ensuing bidding wars, many homes have sold for significantly more than their initial asking price. And the supply constraint persists, especially as the government continues to fall short of its yearly new house target. What's next? Even specialists struggle to predict the future of the real estate industry. Nobody can predict how things will alter in the future. On the one hand, interest rates have climbed dramatically in recent months, and the Fed has made no indication that it intends to slow down. However, home prices have risen significantly in recent years, climbing by more than 30% since 2020. Some feel that higher interest rates and a slowing economy will cause prices to decline. Whatever happens in the real estate market in the coming months and years, it's a good idea to work with an experienced real estate agent if you're thinking about buying or selling a house. So guys, that was it for this video. Now it's time to hear from you. What is your thought about the interest rate and the housing market? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.